Good morning, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. It is November the 6th, 2022. It is 9.31 in the morning here in West Michigan. It is a Sunday morning. And uh, it's a new week. Thought I'd make a video since I'm sitting here by myself. My wife went to work. Not to work. My wife has been retired for a couple of years. She was a professional nurse for 45 years. No, she went to church. She has to set up for coffee before a Sunday school. So I'm sitting here as my habit is, writing in my diary, for my paper diary for 2022. I'm on page 1046. This morning, I thought I would just share some uh, some books with you. Just show them to you. I'm not going to go into great detail. But for those who are interested in such things, I got a book in the mail uh, last week. And it was a book of sermons. And um, by... Um, John Murray. Uh, this is called Old Death, Where Is Thy Sting Collected Sermons. I didn't know. Well, what, what got my attention on this book was that it said that these were sermons on the epistle to the Romans. And when I was in Bible college, one of the... I took a class on the Epistle of Romans in the New Testament. Let me get my something here. So I thought, well, I didn't know that there were sermons by John Murray on Romans. I thought I had everything by John Murray. And this is the commentary that when I was in Bible college, we had to use for the class on the Epistle of Romans, which is in the Pauline epistles, it's it's considered the one of the greatest. Well, it's it's at the head. You, you have the Gospels, then you have the you have Luke. I mean, you have the Gospels, then you have the the Acts of the Apostles, and then you have Romans. And Romans is is one of the very I don't know. All scripture is inspired and infallible, and but Romans is a favorite letter by all Christians, especially during the Reformation, the doctrine of justification by faith, and and so it's very, very f familiar to Christians and to ministers. So I knew that I had John Murray's. Uh, a commentary on Romans but I didn't know that there were sermons that he did on Romans so I, I, I went to the Westminster Theological Seminary bookstore and I ordered this and I had been reading it like it says in Romans chapter 1 the very famous verses for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation to, for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as written, the just shall live by faith. And that's the first sermon in this book. He, uh, John, Dr. John Murray uh, preaches on that text. Uh, Romans 1, 16-17. Now John Murray was... I know, you know, I could spend a whole hour explaining you the life of John Murray. John Murray was a minister in in the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. He he helped start back in the 30s Westminster Theological Seminary. He was from Scotland. He first went to Princeton in New Jersey, and then when Princeton became liberal. Uh, people left, faculty members, and they started at Westminster Theological Seminary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 
and he was the professor of systematic theology for many years and he wrote books <laughs> and I thought I'd just show you the books now when I was in Bible college I bought from a fellow who was selling books the collected writings of John Murray which is published by the Banner of Truth this is collected writings John Murray volume 1 the claims of truth and this was first published, the My Set was published in 1976. And then you have Volume 2, Systematic Theology, The Collected Writings of John Murray. Now I read, I've been reading John Murray <laughs> at least 40, 45 years. This is Collected Writings of John Murray, Life, Sermons and Reviews, Volume 3. And then you have Collected Writings of John Murray, Studies in Theology. And I've read these when I was in Bible college and seminary. This was required reading. I mean, you just read them. I mean, you can read these for devotions. That's the reason why I show these books. Uh, they're not only for academics or teaching elders or ruling elders, but just for Christians. As I've mentioned in my videos over the years, I, one of the, the goals or the purpose of this channel and booktube was to show you good Christian literature, things that you can buy and add to your library. And you can't go wrong buying the collected writings of John Murray, and you can learn a lot from him. Uh, and they're not hard to read. I mean, uh, especially if you're a minister or a serious Christian, you should read John Murray. He also, one of the first books I read when I first came into the Reformed faith that I was shown back in 1975 was Redemption accomplished and applied by John Murray. And this book really opened my eyes up to, you have redemption, the death of Christ. It was accomplished on the cross, but not only was it accomplished, but it was it is, is applied by the Holy Spirit. And uh, like it says here, uh, so this is really an, uh, really important to understand the work of Christ on the cross and the work of redemption and how it's accomplished and then how it's applied to the hearts of sinners by the operation and work of the Holy Spirit. Uh, like it says here, part one, necessity of the atonement, two, the nature of the atonement, three, the perfection of the atonement, four, the extent of the atonement, Conclusion, part two, redemption applied, the order of application, effectual calling, regeneration, faith and repentance, justification, chapter six, adoption, seven, chapter seven, sanctification, eight, perseverance, union with Christ, chapter nine, and glorification, uh, chapter 10. And so this is really a good little book to read if you want to understand the work of redemption, accomplished and applied. Uh, and then he also wrote, this is a very more academic work, The uh, Imputation of Adam's Sin by John Murray. Uh, I had to read this when I was in Bible college and seminary. And then he wrote a book on Christian baptism by John Murray. Uh, Christian Baptism by John Murray. And then he wrote a little pamphlet on the Covenant of Grace by John Murray. And then you have Principles of Conduct by John Murray. Uh, it says here in the back, Principles of Conduct, Aspects of Biblical Ethics by John Murray, late professor of Systematic Theology, Westminster Theological Seminary. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in, nine, in the March of 1955, Professor Murray delivered the Peyton Lectures at Fuller Theological Seminary, 
which have been expanded to provide this volume. There are 10 chapters dealing with such important questions as marriage, labor, capital punishment, truth, law, and grace. In all these matters, the attention of the reader is directed to the teachings of scriptures, especially the Ten Commandments, as the supreme authority of the whole sphere of Christian conduct. That's a good thing to remember. The Ten Commandments as the supreme authority of the whole sphere of Christian ethics. We get our ethics, we get how we live, and how we are to conduct ourselves in this world from the Bible, not from society, not from whatever you feel like doing, whatever you want to do. We live according to the pattern of Scripture. Uh, especially the Ten Commandments as the supreme authority, a whole sphere of Christian conduct. Professor Murray does not claim to cover the entire field of biblical ethics, but his selected aspects, he has manifested commendable discernment. So, I highly recommend the principles of conduct. And then he wrote a book on divorce by John Murray. Divorce is something that we see in our society everywhere. People getting married and getting divorced. So, so what is the biblical view of divorce? So John Murray wrote a little, little pamphlet on it. The teaching of the Apostle Paul. The teachings of our Lord. Uh, practical cases. So he wrote these books. So it's good to know about John Murray, his book on divorce, principles of conduct on Christian ethics, what does it mean to live the Christian life, the covenant of grace, uh, like you ha uh, he goes into that, Christian baptism by John Murray, imputation of Adam's sin, and then you have redemption accomplished and applied, this is really a good book. I mean, I remember when I read it, how enlightening it was. Uh, it's just a gem of a little book. And then, Can't Go Wrong, and his collected writings. If you want a good overview of, of Christian systematics, and uh, just all kinds of things. There are sermons in here, too. Like he has the moral law, and the, like it says here, claims of truth. Volume 1, for example, the moral law and the fourth commandment. Uh, the period, the Sabbath institution, the pattern of the Lord's day. The church, its identity, function, and resources. Uh, he has a thing on the Reformation, historical study of the Reformation, the creedal basis of the Union in the Church. There's all kinds of interesting things. You have volume three, live sermons and reviews. That's why I got this out to see if there were any sermons in here that was in this book. There's, there are in here. What they did, they they found these old recordings of John Murray years and years ago, and somebody listened to the sermons and wrote down a transcript of what they heard, and, and then they put it into a book. But there's like sermons in here, the mystery of godliness, uh, love to Christ, indispensable sermons like the power of the Holy Spirit and the Christian ministry, Sermons, Christ in all the assemblies of his people, a lesson in forgiveness. So you have sermons in here. And then, if you want a good commentary on Romans, this has been reprinted many times. Epistle to the Romans by John Murray. Yeah, if you really want to get an overview of Christian doctrine, what the gospel is, the Christian gospel. People usually go through the Epistle of Romans and uh, where you have a very clear presentation of the Christian gospel. So, you, 
So I had to read this when it, this my edition came out in 1968. Mine did. So I just thought I'd show you these books by John Murray. Check them out. Go to Banner Truth Trust website. You can order them. You can order them from Christian Reformation Heritage Books. You can go into YouTube and type in John Murray or Google search John Murray. Can't go wrong reading John Murray. So I've been reading this last couple of days. I read this last night and I thought you. This is how he opens up this sermon, Dead to Sin. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also in the likeness of his resurrection. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but he that liveth, he liveth unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Romans 6, 5, 10, and 14. And then he opens up with this prayer. O oh, oh God, high and lifted up, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, who art ever blessed, blessed in thyself, who dwellest in light that is unapproachable and full of glory, blessed forever be thy great and holy name. Thou art holy and inhabitest the praises of Israel. Do thou therefore, O Lord, grant unto us that we come into thy holy presence, we may give thanks upon remembrance of thy holiness. We confess unto thee, O Lord, that the fear of thy great name, the reverence of thy majesty, is not native to us. We confess that we are ungodly in ourselves and that we are utterly alienated from thee because of our sin and our iniquity. We confess unto thee the hardness of our hearts and the darkness of our minds, so that thy light we may see clearly. We would come with confession of our sin, remembering that we confess our sins, thou art faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Blessed be thy great name that thou hast brought all the perfections of thy being, all the dictates of thy justice and thy holiness to bear upon the salvation that is in Christ Jesus and that in salvation wrought by thee thy glory is made great. Therefore may we have confidence to draw nigh to thee in full assurance of faith and having our hearts sprinkled and to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Then he goes on. So these prayers, it's just a great little devotional book. You can read on Sunday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This just came out, so i show it to you. So yeah, check out the writings of John Murray. He was a great man of God. You can learn a lot from him. I've learned a lot over the years from reading him. And so I just thought I'd share that with you. I hope you have a good new week and a good reading week. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time, bye.